Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 2nd, 2019. So everyone, I hope you had a fantastic holiday and everyone had a great time with friends and family and probably eating and, and, and I'm guessing a lot of shopping also went on. Hopefully every, uh, this morning I find everyone happy and healthy and ready to go for this week. Let's take a look at what happened to the markets here. On Friday, we had a little bit of a sell-off. It wasn't too bad, down 120 some points, I guess, on Friday. And it was a result of President Trump signing the bill supporting uh, that Democratic Hong Kong. And China uh, came out and threatened retaliation for that. Now, obviously, that is creating some stress or strain, and it looks like the trade negotiations have stalled, at least for the moment, and that created that pushdown on Friday. However, this morning, we're looking at a bit of a gap up open here, pushing up a little bit higher this morning, but that open has been tempered just a little bit this morning overnight. Overnight, the futures were uh, doing much stronger, but um, tempered just a little bit because we um, had a little bit of manufacturing uh, information out of Europe um, that showed um, their their manufacturing numbers shrinking, while Asian markets show uh, showed overnight that their manufacturing increased. We will hear later this morning about how U.S. manufacturing is doing with the PMI report and ISM reports in like 9:45 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. So this morning we've we've pushed back just a little bit, but we are showing a little bit of bullish this this morning trying to recover a bit of that selling that happened here on Friday and it's most likely due to the reports that Black Friday sales have been huge um, as a matter of fact they're suggesting that they Black Friday probably produced a 20% increase in uh, those sales. So pretty strong event so far. And then today, they are expecting today to be um, a record-setting um, Cyber Monday sales event. So it'll be kind of interesting to see um, how today goes um, uh, with that going on. One of the things we will have to pay attention to, although we're trending and although we're moving up, today could be a little bit light in volume. First off, um, all of those holiday travelers and traders trying to get back home, extending their vacations, that kind of thing. And then, of course, um, the distractions from the Cyber Monday um, buying going on. So don't be too surprised after the moment morning open that the market just kind of stalls and gets a little bit quiet a little bit choppy it's happened the last few years cyber monday seems to be one of those days that the market just um it becomes very very quiet after that morning rush so watch that close this morning right now technically speaking we are in really good shape here on the dow the dow is still very very strong holding up well we're not seeing any signs yet of fears or or major complications with the trade situation and the fact that on December 15th, we are likely to see uh, tariffs increase. They're already scheduled for the 15th. So keep that in mind. It'll be interesting to see how the market reacts to that as we approach that December 15 deadline. If we see no progress in the phase one trade deal. So uh, here we go again, um, more political driven, news driven uh, market price action that could be a little bit challenging, just some stumbling blocks ahead. But one thing is for sure, the consumer seems to be very, very strong and they are are voting strongly with their purchasing going on um, in these holiday sales events and that is bullish for the market so let's take a look at the spy this morning spy holding up quite well 
and as you can see pulled back on friday but is moving up this morning you can see we're getting a little gap up this morning trying to recover uh, um, a lot of that uh, selling on friday we'll have to see if that holds out throughout the day but trends remain very very strong there's no question about it bulls are still in control and we do have support levels even if we were to pull back there's some support in here um, for that to hold so let's keep that in mind um, no matter what uh, comes out today we still seems to seem to be holding up very very well and there's no fear in this market at least at this point of a substantial sell-off let's take a look at the cues cues whoops Q's holding up very, very well, and once again, selling on Friday, but trying to lift back up here this morning, as you can see, pushing up back higher, and we are holding strong trends, we have good support in this chart so even if we do get that rest or pull back there's really nothing here uh, technically showing a major problem overall so keep that in mind let's take a look at IWM now IWM it's nice to see that IWM is starting to participate a little bit with the market but unfortunately it pulled back a little bit here on Friday and actually put in kind of a almost like an evening star type pattern right here uh, we'll have to wait and see on that but this morning we're getting a little bit of follow through to the upside a little bit of a bump up and we do have substantial support down in this area so even if we do pull back shouldn't hurt it too bad as long as we can hold on to the support hanging into that trend we should be in pretty good shape so keep an eye on those levels let's take a look at the VIX here real quick now the VIX um, interesting interesting thing here on the VIX is that Friday showed a significant increase in fear but let's keep in mind that that fear was um, produced on very very low volume so the fact that we're popping back up a little bit this morning could mean that this fear uh, declines right back down into here let's watch that close um, but we are reacting to a bit of a price support area here in the uh, VIX as well so just keep that in mind I don't see any major damage here the bulls are certainly in control but we'll want to keep an eye on that if fear starts to creep up as we head toward that December 15th uh, deadline on tariffs let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio now friday's pullback actually helped this considerably um that friday pullback pulling this back we're back down here into the mid area of t2122 which means we've opened up plenty of opportunity here for an upside move so keep that in mind that we have opened that door for a significant move up we also want to keep in mind that we have about an equal shot to the downside here so th there are two sides to the market as we know and um uh, that's all t2122 is showing us today it is i think it was a bullish thing that we pulled back a little bit here on friday but it's unfortunate that it had to come based on a news event um, as it did so let's keep an eye on this let's look at um our economic calendar for today and it does have some important things here on the calendar that we will want to make note of uh, for today some market moving events so first off we have the PMI manufacturing coming out here at 945 now that one can move certainly move the market around but not expected to move it nearly as much as the ism manufacturing report now what's interesting to note is the consensus estimates are looking for um uh, relatively bullish or flat uh, numbers here so um, there's not an expectation of a big move it would only be if those numbers really surprised that there would be some significant move now if they continue to come in bullish or hold up pretty well that could help uh, bolster those bulls a little bit this morning and hang on to some of these gains and then uh, construction spending um, also coming out here at 10 a.m. Um, one thing you'll want to kind of keep in mind um, on a holiday, you know, we're gapping back up. We had bearishness on Friday, that little bit of worry. 
don't be too surprised um, if volume shrinks really quickly today and even that possibility of a pop and drop, meaning that we gap up this morning on this little bit of bullishness and then we just kind of start drifting south again. So watch that carefully. Don't get caught up this morning and chase. We want to make sure that the bulls will actually follow through this morning. So watch that price action closely as we move throughout the morning. Um, on the earnings calendar today, we only have about 15 companies reporting earnings, and I don't see anything in the earnings reports that are particularly notable or market moving today. So keep that in mind. There are reports coming out, but don't expect those to be um, a big deal for today. So the market's going to be largely focused on um, the uh, the sales numbers coming in, the holiday sales numbers coming in, the manufacturing numbers, and then the concern over the trade situation and the pending tariffs. So we'll just have to wait and see how the market deciphers all of that and how it digests um, all that data as we move forward. Let's take a look at um, a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, if you guys don't mind, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also, make sure you click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. If this is the first time you've seen these videos and just realize that what these videos, the purpose of these videos are is to help everyone focus on how you might want to approach the market for the day. To remove all the hype, all the prediction that you might see in other, um, other places and just really focus in on the technicals and what the chart is telling us. And as you can see, the price action in these charts are telling us lots and lots of bullishness still holding up here. But we do have that little tiny concern in the news. So far, it hasn't really played out in the price action but we'll want to stay um, on our toes and watching that very carefully and just avoid um, uh, avoiding the hype of the day or the hype of what what you may have picked up in some report and really focusing on that price action. I believe price is king and the most important thing we can do if you want to find the holy grail in trading it's learning how to read price action. It's not a set of indicators it's a very simple price action work and if you read that price action you can give yourself a, an edge in the market so with that let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up a few things that might be of interest to you and we'll take a look at those and just keep in mind that as we look at these stocks um, I want to um, let everyone know that they are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact what I they really are part of the um, education and things that I do and if you find Find a stock in here um, in this list that you think is uh, viable. Put it on a uh, on a watch list. Watch that stock and stay focused on that uh, on that price action. And there may be an opportunity to get into um, one of those trades. Let's take a look at Lowe's. Lowe's is kind of an interesting chart here. Um, we've been very very bullish in the price action of these charts, and Lowe's running up this trend, looking pretty good. Now we're in a nice little consolidating zone here, and you can see we could actually just draw a little box right around that. I call this a pop out of the box pattern. And when we consolidate in that relatively tight range, holding in an upward trend, I want to be watchful for that next opportunity to maybe enter that position. Home, uh, excuse me, uh, Lowe's may be one of those stocks to take a look at and is holding up quite well overall. Take a look at CTL. Now, CTL, I was originally looking at this as a bullish trade. And CTL is really kind of, um, well, cause some trouble here in this pattern. So when I see a stock that 
breaks down through support, breaks down through trend, I start to watch this for that potential little rally back or that consolidating move and the follow through to the downside. CTL might be one of those that could set up short here in the next few days if we cannot push back higher. So watch this for that potential failure point in here and a good potential short trade. So keep an eye on that one. Um, HPQ, HPQ has been kind of interesting. Hewlett Packard holding up quite well, been running up in this trend. Notice we've broken through some resistance levels. We're holding that pretty well. Now we do have the concern of this resistance right up in here on that chart, but let's keep an eye on HPQ. There may still be an opportunity for some upside move in here, challenge these all time high, or not all time highs, but challenge these highs in the stock if um, we can hold up. And notice that Friday, while the market was pulling back, this was getting some energy to the the upside so HPQ holding up pretty well Costco is one to maybe keep an eye on now this really suffered uh, pretty t difficult times right in here we popped through failed came back to trend but I think what's important here so far is that we are holding on to trend and we're holding on to some levels of price support in here this is gonna need some love here pretty darn soon to kick up off of there but there may be an opportunity um, in this chart to maybe start pushing back up toward this resistance high if the market can remain bullish we'll have to keep an eye on that Costco is kind of an interesting chart I don't think it's ready for prime time just yet but definitely one to keep on a list and watch same thing with Intel Intel trying very very hard to get going here and you can see um, Intel's dealing with a price resistance in the chart and once again it's setting up that nice little uh, consolidation zone now to uh, for full disclosure I'm actually in this trade already and Intel holding up quite well even though we did get a little bit of a pullback as long as we can hold support in this area we should be okay and you can see this morning it's trying to get a little bit of a lift here so let's watch this in here there may be an opportunity coming as this moves over toward its trend anytime this could decide to make that move and pop on out keep an eye on uh, old Intel. Um, GE, GE has a possibility here, but in the last few days, we've had four days of really light pullback in this chart. If that can hold this support level in here, we may have an opportunity, kind of the same kind of opportunity here in GE as we're, we've looked at a couple of these charts. The little pullback, that little rest holding in this little consolidating zone. Let's wait and see if GE can maybe move on through or whether it might fail and come on back down and test this support. Um, it's all going to be determined whether or not we have enough energy in the market um, moving forward here. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Now, Coke is a chart that's still in a downtrend, but this is one of those charts that I trade I trade Coke a lot. And when I look at this chart, I see this downtrend that we tested here, but I also see this uptrend coming into play on this chart. And we broke through some resistance, and so far, we're holding on to that area's support. Take a look that we're looking to uh, move a little bit higher this morning trying to gap up here a little bit in Coke. If that can hold in here and start showing those signs of maybe breaking that downtrend, that'll be kind of interesting to keep an eye on. Um, watch that one close. This one could go either direction, so watch that close. I don't want to say that this is um, all bullish because we could rally up into that resistance again and just fail. Um, overall. Now Coke had a really good earnings report. Things were holding up really good so we'll have to wait and see if that can follow through. Um, Apple Apple continuing to hold up very, very strong. It looks like iPhone sales um, and the wearables such as their watch and the new AirPods and stuff seem to be selling really well this season, holding up and Apple holding up quite well. And we'll have to watch that resistance right up in here, see if that can pop on through. But Apple holding up very, very well. It seems to be getting a bit of a boost in these holiday, holiday sales. So um, keep an eye on Apple for more upside potential in that chart last but not least I'm gonna bring up one that's kind of an interesting chart this is Mo 
um, Altria, and you can see um, right in here, I alerted folks in RWO to this potential move higher. This thing certainly had a lot of volatility in it right in here for a few days. But what's interesting is even with the vaping thing going on, um, Altria moving higher here, and you can see just climbing right on up this move. Now, I think it probably needs a rest or pullback before I would be interested in this chart, but this is one of those charts kind of defying the news right now holding up well so keep that on your list keep that in mind so with that everyone hey i hope you found something in that list that maybe you can use or react to uh, maybe pick up a little bit of the things that i look for in price action if um, you're struggling as a trader i want to encourage each and every one of you to never give up on that dream of being your uh, that full-time trader this is a tough business but believe me if an old carpenter like myself can figure this thing out so can you so keep up the hard work and if there's anything we can do to help please let us know everyone take care have an awesome awesome day once again just a reminder expect those volumes to be a little bit weak today uh, be careful not to rush into this market in case we get a bit of a pop and drop type pattern with just a little bit of flat trading today so watch that close everyone have a great day i wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early tuesday morning have a good one